camera, obviously you're limited in what you can say. What do you want to say? We have been working a long time uh, for the victims and the community in the shadows and now we're very happy to have our case tested by the courts. Very much happy to be in that proper glare. Um, there have been dangers associated with this case, hence we haven't announced what we've been doing along the way. So I imagine a few people are surprised about what's happened. We're very confident in the case and we've been very pleased to ring just a few of our victims and, uh, and their families yesterday to, to let them know. So that's been a, a lot of um, satisfaction for us and we hope for them. The evidence, as far as you can say, it's new DNA evidence, correct? That is one part of the grief of evidence, but it is just one part. We are not here today solely because of that. That's a very important part of, um, of the grief of evidence, obviously, but it's not the only, only matter. Real, it, real witnesses have given evidence. Real witnesses have given evidence that were not identified before. Witnesses who gave scant evidence before due to methods of recording or their confidence um, in coming forward in such a dangerous situation. They've expanded their evidence. We sat with them for many, many hours um, recording their, their evidence. Of course, there are new witnesses, uh, new ways of recording information and, and sifting through the information we had. It's been a very meticulous job. There's been multi-layered um, elements of local investigations and the joint bond task force, coronial inquiries and other matters of family law court matters. We've overlaid those and, and drawn out very particularly what the evidence is. As, as, is, as is often the case, science has just been able to reach its hand back 30 years at a time where criminals would not have expected they could be got at. Yes, that's e exactly right. Um, just speaking generally, Criminals at that time um, weren't as cautious as they are now, and that has helped us. That is one element of, of the case. On a personal note, when you looked across the dock and you looked at the accused, did you have any feelings? Only for his family. They need a lot of consideration at this time. They are good people. Um, they have not had anything at all to do with what he has done. I would like us to all consider their position. You said your detectives had spoken with um, the victim's uh, surviving family in the, in the past two days. How have they, what's their reaction been? Um, mixed, uh, the same as a lot of homicide matters. There is a mix of some sadness to speak to them because you'll be reminding them of exactly what they've been through and still going through, but a satisfaction and uh, assurance for them. So a mixed response, uh, but very, very positive and hopeful. And, and we will be standing very strong and tightly with them as we go through this obviously long process.